You know, I've got a funny feeling that this is going to be a special one. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. All right, Caballos Nature Reserve, and we're going after cache number two. So in the description it says the same as last time, please be careful when walking in the reserve and retrieving the cache, so that no plants and animals are harmed. Last entry in the activity log was on the 30th of September 2022. Amy and Jordy, hey guys, you found it. Very wet log. The one before that found it, found it, the one before that found it, so it looks like an easy one. Difficulty 1.5, terrain 1.5, cash small. Let's go get it. Let's see how far away we are. 118 meters. Fifty-five meters. It's right up ahead. Alright now, I did find the hint very interesting. The hint simply said stones. So I'm reckoning. It's a pile of stones, and the cache is hidden right underneath. Right, 15 meters. 14. Wait a second, now it's back to 12 meters. I've passed it already. 4 meters. Alright, what did the hint say? Stones. Well, there you go. And there it is. Water. Well, I've got to admit. That's the easiest cache I've ever found. Alright, there we go. Okay, so uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Tweezers. There you go. Don't worry, I'm gonna do a separate video on my geocaching toolkit real soon. Alright, so uh, let's be gentle with this one. There we go. It is sopping wet. Oh no. I actually have to use the tweezers to get it out of the baggie as well. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, Amy, Jordy, you were not kidding when you said it's wet. Oh no. Oh. All right. Okay, this is sopping wet. It's literally falling to pieces. I don't know what to do. I think uh, what I should do is contact the owner of this cache and tell him to come do some maintenance. I can't even ride on this. This is like, this is wasted. All right, this is the one instance where I am not going to ride in the treasure log because I can't. I simply cannot ride on this thing. Is I want to just. 
open up the baggie a bit and give it some air, get all of that water out. So I am not going to ride on this log because I can't. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to leave it open for a while to breathe and just uh, dry a bit. What I am going to do is I'm going to contact the owner of this cache and I'm going to tell him to do some maintenance. All right, let's just log it on the app. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm just going to say, still there. Sopping wet. I'm also going to say needs maintenance. All right, 22 total fines. All right, well, let's put this little guy back in its cage, container, whatever. I could actually replace it myself right now. I have all the tools with me to do it. The thing is, it is not my responsibility. The cash owner is responsible for maintaining the cash. So if you're a cash owner, you gotta do your rounds and you gotta go around and check if they're still all right. If you want to play this game, you have to be responsible and you have to play by the rules. If you're a cash owner, it is your responsibility to maintain that cash. All right, we're just going to put it right there. All right, well, the sun's going down. It's about 350 meters back to the car. So I'm gonna hit the road. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, man.